Hello everybody, this is Theron. Ah, welcome to Minecraft Maker. I'm just wandering out a little bit. My ski lodge setup is up there somewhere. The away base is just over there and home is way over that way. Um, just wandering around a little bit and uh, just seeing what's here. I, I've wandered around some of this uh, looking for, you know, slimes and because we are kind of in the swamp biome here. Um, looking for slimes, looking for, uh, for cactus. Oh, that's cute. Hello. And, oh. Ooh. Interesting. So, yeah, just looking around. How's everyone doing? I am, uh, I'm doing just fine. Hi, chicken. You're not one of my captives, so. Oh, are those dark oak? Oh, I need me some of those. Okay, I will cut me down some of those. Careful, it can be dangerous in here. Wow. This little swamp biome. Um, whoa, spiders. Spiders. Oh, wow, look at those things. Those are great. Nice. Get out of the water there. So I'm just wandering around. Um, yeah. Whoa, it's dark in here. Wow, this is, this is, this is kind of fantastic. Look at this. And, at the, and I'm far enough out that I'm actually seeing some of the new rock types here, I think. Um, this stuff some of this terrain was generated under the new under the snapshots so which is nice not that I've done anything with the granite or the diorite or any of that stuff yet but oh hello whoa cave nice where am I Interesting. It's about noon. Let's cut down one of these. These look pretty fantastic. Got my uh, decent axe here, so let's go. Uh, let's cut down some wood. Let's see if we can get some saplings. Right, that's this stuff is the dark oak. Oh, it's so nice. And you can plant this stuff to grow the I mean these are like these four wide logs it looks like. So I think you can plant them and grow these big trees. Which I like. I've been growing uh, oak wood, oak trees like that. And uh, I need saplings though. Come on. I like the little branches, but you're kind of a pain. Oh, hello. Got more tree here, that's why. So, how is everyone doing? I'm doing alright. It's almost Memorial Day. This uh, video will be posted probably long after Memorial Day because I have a little bit of a backlog, but... Um, yeah, when I when I record, I record enough that I usually get creepy sound. Sounds like that's that particular creepy sound sounds like a truck driving through Minecraft land. Um, come on, I want to be able to grow these things. There we go. Jeez, what do you have to do to get a sapling. Or do they have saplings? Maybe they don't drop saplings. I don't know. Um, see an apple up there. They drop some normal stuff, right? Oh, I got another wood here. Oh, I got a sapling of some sort there. Hang on a second. 
dark oak sapling. I got four. How many do you need? You probably need four, right? Or at least four. So yeah, I, when I record like this, I usually get two or three episodes. I cut them together. I put in my little little theme song, little intro, which uh, I got a new... Um, I The theme song is mine. I, I, I do weird experimental electronic noise music um, under the name Bang Splat. Uh, so that is a Bang Splat piece. Um, I do enjoy playing around with, uh, with uh, weird electronic music like that. Uh, that piece was done using a program called Pure Data. Oh, that this is weird. You just generated over nothing. Or you generated in place and then everything fell below you, I guess. Um, so that was done using a uh, program called Pure Data, which is a, which is a wonderful program. It's an open source uh, audio programming language. And uh, you can do pretty much, as long as you know what you're doing technically, not that I do, but you can pretty much do anything with it. If you can, if you can make noise, um, you know, if you can build a synthesizer or some sort of device, um, write a computer program, uh, electronic synthesizer, or whatever, that will do, um, that will make noise. Uh, you can replicate that noise in pure data or build the filters so you, if you've got a guitar effects pedal that you like you can you can make it in there um, and it's it's free and open source it's like the free open source version of a program called max msp which um, some of you may know about so i was playing around with that and i was just uh, i have a little patch that i have i have a pure data program that uh, does um sort of random notes and where am I am I lost <clears throat> I'm I might be a little turned around here oh another sapling six saplings I want more saplings um so that was a little that was just me playing around with pure data did a bunch of random stuff and then pulled out a piece that I thought sounded kind of cool. Uh, I got a little controller, uh, MIDI controller, called the Arturia Beat Step, uh, which I can then hook up into Pure Data and use it uh, to control some of the parameters because I was manually manipulating sliders and stuff on screen, which is always a pain in the butt. So I may uh, use that same patch to to play around with using Arturia and and, uh, and do a better version of the opening song because it as it is it's just it's it's not super awesome but um, but I find it interesting I hope you do too uh, and if you do you can go to bang splat presents I'm starting to get dark um, oh what am I gonna do it's starting to get dark I didn't really think about this and go hide out in a mushroom which way is home? It's home. Home is that way. Okay. Honk. All right. Well, let's uh, let's head towards the house a little bit, and maybe we'll we'll dig in for the night, and I'll cut away because <laughs> this is gonna get. Difficult to see, and let's um, down some torches. Maybe if I set up on an island here, it's going to get difficult to see. And uh, I don't have a bed. I should have brought one with me. Wasn't really thinking. Okay, so I'll cut down some more tree here, and uh, hopefully no skeletons uh, start shooting at me. But we'll we'll deal. Uh, so I'll probably uh, cut, and we'll see you in the morning. Sun's coming up. Sun's coming up. The giant mushroom looks pretty with the torches under it. And the sunset coming up. Let's take a snapshot. Very nice. 
All right. So I need to, let's see. Where do you want to go? Who's that over there? Looks like a bad guy. Let's, let's, let's go over here a bit. Hello, squids. Oh. You know, the, there's something just wacky about, I think it's the length of the day versus the size of the world. There's just there's something a little bit wrong. Because you can only walk, you can walk several hundred blocks. And each, each block is, what is that? Oh, what is that? Oh, goodness. <gasps> That's a witch's hut. I have not seen a witch's hut in the game yet. Oh, look at that. Oh, goodness. Um, oops. Screenshot the coordinates. Oh, my gosh. You know what this means? Witch farm. Oh, goodness. I don't know how to do that. Is there anybody in there? Doesn't look like it. Ooh, cauldron, there's no water. Oh, can you do that? Can you put a mushroom in a planter? A little crafting table in case you need it? Okay, it's, it's a little homey. It's, it's a, you know, it's, it's cozy. Goodness. So where, wait, where am I here? See, this is what I mean. I'm, uh, I can't do this math in my head, but I mean... 5, 60, 3, 40, 3, 50. I mean, I'm like less than a thousand blocks from home. and less than a kilometer from home, right? If each of these blocks is supposed to be a meter, home is that way. In theory, I should be able to walk here in, you know, in the real world, you can walk a kilometer in, in what, in a few minutes, five minutes, ten minutes if you're slow. Um, or, yeah, something like that. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but you know, it's a thousand steps, right? Do I hear beasties? Okay. Um, let's, let's leave here before any witches spawn. But I know where this is now. So I can come back. I have to research, uh, witch farms. I don't know. Let's see, home is that way. So let's just keep going. I don't know what the best way back here is. Interesting. Let's see. From here, this is. Wait, where am I? This is. The, I wish I. Ah, uh, I wish I brought a map. So. Oh, that's cute. I like that. Witches. Okay. Let's uh go up over. Let's climb up this mountain here. And get a remote view of it. But a thousand. A thousand blocks in Minecraft is like a day's walk. Which is why... Where is it? Oh, it's right there. I hear pigs. I hear pigs. What's going on? Ah! Damn it. Sorry. Um, do this. Which is why, you know, why nether portal networks are, are helpful. Is this my little pig valley here? I bet it is. So this is close. Let's do another screenshot here. Nice. Um, so I think my... I think my little uh, ski lodge is up over on this hill here. All right, that's towards home. Let's, let's just start walking. Nice little cave, which I should explore. Not right now. But see, I'm like a thousand blocks from home, and it's going to... That's another nice little... This one's tight. Oops. That's a little dead end. Okay. Um, so this thousand blocks is going to take me... A good chunk of the daylight hours to walk home. I know the day games, you know, day, game days are short, but um, is that my ski launch there? I think it is. So if I keep going this way and go up through 
a little ah yeah okay yeah right or is it on that hill there it might be interesting so if I keep walking past the ski lodge oh another hole in the ground oh this one looks interesting little zombies oh I think we may have an underground ravine here hey dude yeah you know what die um we may have a nice little ravine going on here Ooh, I'll have to come back here it looks like a shallow ravine that's weird get the experience okay I hear more zombie zombie action yeah oh that looks dark over there okay let's let's walk down the hill what biome is this extreme hills okay cool probably grab that just keep walking towards home but I'm gonna have to stop in my uh, in the away base so it's like you gotta have you have to have a bed every kilometer or so just so you can safely wander Is that that pool of lava that I came and got the lava from for the uh, the pit? My cobblestone generator? Or is this a different lava pit? Yeah, this is a different lava pit. Okay, oh, home is over this way. Mm. Go, so the ski lodge is not there. I'm I'm a little confused. Well, I have the coordinates of the uh, of the witch of the witch hut. So I can get my way back there. Yeah, I thought that was a creeper. All right. Um, so this must be. I wonder if this is the river on. I don't know. I'm confused. Lots of swamps around here. So. Without the coordinates, I don't know. I'd ever find my way back there. I, mean, I think I, I think I would get lost. Walk between the trees, please. Whoa, that's a tall tree with no leaves. Okay, so what is this? I'm probably. I bet I end up bypassing. Is this the river that runs by home? I don't know. I got lost. Oh, I bet this is. No, I think I was. I think I was out of ways. Not where I thought I was. Because this. I bet this goes overland back towards home. I don't know. We'll see. But you see, it's already afternoon. The sun is starting to go down. And I... Oh, this is pretty. It's a little lilac flowers here. And cobblestone. Oh, I must have been here before. I must have explored this part. For some reason. Though this does not look familiar. Oops. Oh, uh, uh oh. Well, my compass hasn't stopped working because it does that every now and then. And I don't know if I actually have my home coordinates. Otherwise, this might get interesting. Ooh, cave. Okay. Hello, or ravine, mini ravine. Oh, I'm really close to zero, zero. 
which is not good. Oh, which is not good. Because my my home base is close to zero zero, but it's not at zero zero. But I found my way back before, so I really should carry a map when I go out wandering like this. Okay, well this is uh this might get interesting, so and by interesting I mean really boring and uh dangerous. So um I think we're gonna leave it off here for now. And I will you know what? While we're here let's go find zero zero. No um, Um, positive X, I need negative Z, 50 blocks, see it's starting to get dark, this is gonna, this is not gonna be, not gonna go well, but if I can, if I get to the zero, zero, oh, okay, just a sheep, I should put a little marker, oh, that'd be awesome if zero, zero was in a freaking ravine, so I need a negative X. Let's walk around the ravine here. Oh, you know what? This is it. This is my zero zero. Okay. Well, Obviously, I don't come here frequently. And uh, I should put a little marker. I should, once I figure out where home is, I should uh, put up a little marker. So that I can get back to where I need to go. Okay. Well, the nice thing is that this is in spawn, right? So if I go to build an iron golem farm I could put it in here and I'll stay loaded right I think that's the way it works okay yeah sun's going down it's getting late and I am uh, I'm gonna dig in here and and I will leave it there so I will see you next time and uh, hopefully everything's okay all right Oh, yeah, this is an awesome location for a little hidey hole. Okay. Um, so, yeah, that's, uh, that's that. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And, um, and I will see you next time. Yeah.